Okay, Year 10, so in today's lesson, we are going to be looking at the impacts of deforestation. So we're going to be looking at the economic development, soil erosion, and the contribution to climate change. So where are we in relation to this topic? So we looked at the causes of deforestation in the last lesson, and we focused on Malaysia, and we're going to be looking at the impacts of deforestation in this lesson on a local and a global scale. So what we have here um, is a map of the world in the middle, a choropleth map, which is using color to represent areas that are being deforested. So we're focused on the red areas. So you can see that there is an area that's been circled and this is showing us the location of Malaysia and Borneo. Now, the statements are in lots of different colours. So first of all, do the black colours. Um, so deforestation is the removal of trees. The continents around the world being deforested are, so we've got here, South America. We've got a little bit in Central America, which is part of North America. We have most of Africa. Parts of South Asia and also most of Oceania. So you decide which ones you want to refer to. In the top right hand corner there, we have deforestation occurs for many reasons. And we looked at this in the last lesson. So this is mostly a recap. Then have a go at answering two other colors. So green is the easiest color, the least challenging. The yellow boxes are a medium ability. And then the red box is the most difficult. So have a go at at least two of the other boxes using the information on the screen and also the map in the middle. OK, so what we have here are the impacts of deforestation. So I would like you to make a spider diagram on a piece of paper and use these images to help you. Now, this top right hand image we've already looked at when we looked at the characteristics of tropical rainforest and it's showing us the nutrient cycle. Now, if we are cutting down the rainforest and the trees, then the soil is going to be left bare. So that means that when it rains, as it does a lot in the tropical rainforest, the nutrients in the soil is going to be washed away. So every time a plant dies and decomposes and all of those nutrients enter the soil, the minute it starts to rain and the nutrients are washed away in the soil, that means that there's going to be no nutrients left. So if there's no nutrients in the soil, they're not going to be able to support plant life. And that will lead to um, lack um, consequences within the ecosystem and that is called soil erosion so the the soil is being washed away because the trees aren't being able to keep them all together other things we have here um are for economic developments this is what this image is showing us here the water the money coming out of the tap for example so if we are cutting down trees for mines, farms and roads, um, this will all lead to an economic development. And the money created from those um, enterprises or those activities allow a country to generate income, which can be positive for countries that are LICs because they can use that to pay off debts or to increase the development of their countries. Other things we have is climate change. And this is what this image here is showing us. So we can see all the arrows are showing us the release um, of carbon dioxide. So we've got that from um, leaf litter. So when things like plants and animals die, we've got it from um, the tractors releasing carbon dioxide, carbon um, in the form of methane from cows, forest fires from actually burning down the trees and then obviously when the trees are cut down they're not being able to absorb as much carbon dioxide so all of these things are meaning that there's more carbon in the atmosphere which can lead to climate change um, so these are all the negative consequences of deforestation so make sure you've written those down So make sure, in addition to the ones we've just mentioned, you have these ones written down too.
And what I would like you to do is go through and decide which of these are local impacts. So they're local to only um, Malaysia and Borneo, or are they global impacts? So for one example, a, a local impact would be the soil erosion. It's only impacting the tropical rainforests in the regions where the trees are being cut down. The decline of indigenous tribes, that's referring to an indigenous tribe, they are only local to that area. So if the um, trees are being cut down, they lose their, their habitat, their way of life. So they will start to decline and they will be forced to acclimatize um, and carry out a, what we would call a normal way of life, which isn't necessarily normal to them. So pause the video here and decide which of these statements are local impacts and which are global impacts. OK, so here are the answers. So make sure, please, that you've green pen improved before you move on. OK, so what we have here um, is looking at the impacts of deforestation. So on the next slide, we have nine statements and these statements are looking at the impacts of deforestation in a little bit more depth. So I would like you to rank these statements from one to nine. So one would be the worst impact. Um, and then I would like you to decide which would be nine. So that would be not necessarily the best impact, but it's not the worst. OK, so once you've categorised them into positive one, uh, sorry, positive being nine and negative being one, I then want you to categorise them into the following categories. So you might want to make a key as shown here. So we're looking at soil erosion, loss of biodiversity, contribution to climate change and economic development. So let's have a look at these categories on the next slide. So what do we have here? Let's read the first one. Once the land is cleared of rainforest vegetation, the soil is left bare. When it rains, the nutrients in the soil are washed away. The nutrient cycle stops because there are no plants or trees shredding leaves, shedding leaves to replace the nutrients in the soil. The soil is no longer able to support plant life, leading to soil erosion. So this is an example of soil erosion. I would say that was pretty bad. I'd probably put that as three. The pollution of water sources and an increasingly dry climate may result in water shortages. Now, this isn't specific to the tropical rainforest because they get lots of rainfall being in a low pressurised area. It's talking about other regions. So this is a global impact. OK, so this is going to lead to climate change. And because this is a global impact, I would put this as either your one or your two. And let's do one more. Companies pay taxes to the government, which can improve public services such as education and water supplies. So this is referring to economic development. And this is positive for the country. So it's a global impact, but it's a positive impact. So it's a local impact, but it's positive. So I would give that maybe an eight out of nine. OK, so go through and read the rest. OK, so what we have here is another example of why we cut down the um, trees and what are the impacts of that. So the Backham Dam is one that we looked at in the last lesson when we looked at the causes of um, deforestation. And we're looking here at the impact. So are there more opportunities, so positive, or challenges associated with deforestation? So I'd like you to write the subheading, the back and down, opportunities and challenges, and go through and decide whether you think these are positive or negative. So write them down either in a table or two colours, or just write a plus or a minus. So the first one, for example, is saying it's a hydroelectric dam, which is renewable energy, which is good for the environment. So that would be a positive. Um, the fact that it took 11, 12, 15 years to make, I would say that was quite negative. The fact that it cost $12, $2 billion, 
that would be negative. So you go through and decide whether you think they're positive or negative, and then a sentence or two at the end explaining whether you think there are more opportunities or more challenges and why you think that using evidence from the screen on the board. Now, once you've done that, you have completed all of the activities for this lesson.